was beginning to feel like the only person in the world who thought it sucked. Oh. You are the only person in the world who thought it sucked. <laughs> but you're right, it didn't make sense. It made dollars. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I guess I was going to talk about Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Honeycut slash the Fugitoid, the previous version of them, and the one that we just had, and it, the story arc has just ended. But in all seriousness, though, and I know this is going to be a little bit of spoilers, but for <clears throat> the 2003 one, he was annoying as hell. Yeah, we gotta admit this. He was annoying as hell. And let me tell you, when it comes to the... And for those who haven't seen the previous episode that aired on Sunday, it's a good idea to run for your damn life. But as for the rest of you, you already understand what happened. Is that the Fugitoid blew up. He actually did a sacrificial death. But of course, yeah, I know, he's not dead. But still, when it comes to ones who deserve to get blown up, I technically would say the 2003 version should have got blown up because he was nauseating. He was so annoying. Oh my gosh, he was too in the freaking damn way. While the 2012 version, while 2016 version, he was useful. He was very useful. He wasn't annoying whatsoever. It was beautiful. And then he had to do a sacrificial death with this like, aw. Couldn't the 2003 version did a sacrificial death? Because he sucked. He sucked very badly. It's like, yeah, he deserved to be screwed over more than he did. The craziest part is like the differences. In 2003, the Triceratons were after the Fugitoid because of his knowledge. And it, in this version, they're not after the Fugitoid at all. Yeah, that's the crazy part. I was like, so when are they going to go after him? And it's like, no, they never did. I'm like, wow. Yeah, instead, they're more part of what he created, which I guess technically, technically, in the 2003 version, it was before he created the thing they wanted. And in the 2012 version, well, 16th version, he already created what they wanted. They just needed to get the pieces back, which technically is kind of weird because it's like, hold on. Well, technically, he didn't even know where the three pieces were scattered. So if he knew where they were scattered, then it was like, yeah, capture the Fugitoid. But he didn't know, which that was kind of funny. It's like, yeah, he didn't know. I'm shocked enough to actually say it's weird that they didn't actually just say, let's get him. Let's find out what materials he needs. Let's build that freaking thing again. So we have one new one instead of looking for the original. So yeah, it became a race to get all those pieces of darkness that actually creates the black hole or technically it's called a black hole generator. So that's all that really happened was just, going after those pieces and some villains along the way, which I know Lord drag. I don't remember him at all from the 2003 version. And I know, I know series are different from each other, but still it's like, yeah, the 2003 version, there was no Lord drag at all. There was Krang, but I have to admit the Krang are cooler in the 2003 version than in this version. I mean, they're cool. I can understand them. But technically, having a Utrom Shredder, holy frick. Yeah, that was like something that people who are watching the original version of Ninja Turtles and watched the 2003 version would have been like, holy sh... And technically, if you watch Turtles Forever, yeah, if you just skipped everything and just heard Turtles Forever is going to be on and the original Turtles are going to be there, then you'll be like, holy frick, as soon as they're like, okay, What? The newest version I decided to skip out on had a Utrom Shredder. What the? Yeah, I bet you guys were like that. But still, yeah, the differences are very, very crazy. Very crazy. I guess technically when it comes to the annoying characters, only the ones that were in the original series in 1987 or technically 1999 or 1988, either way you want to choose it, they brought the original characters back and they are kind of a bit annoying, but not too annoying. 
like in 2013, 2003. But as for the ones that existed in 2003, you had Honeycut, you had the freaking Time Master. They both were annoying as frick. But in this version, they're actually decent. Very decent. Very intelligent. It is kind of weird how Nickelodeon has this TV show, but yet all the other ones are crap. <laughs> it's like, yeah, yeah, this TV show and then all the other TV shows that you have, they're kind of crap. Well, technically, SpongeBob, Breadwinners, Pig, whatever, Go Donkey crap, those are crap. All the other ones are decent, I guess. But anyways, while Ninja Turtles is doing good, I did make a previous video about a review on one of the Ninja Turtles episodes that they just previously did and how it freaking just all over Turtles Forever, which Turtles Forever was a good freaking promotion for the 25th anniversary. They shouldn't have dissed it, but they did, which is sad. Anyways, yeah, it's here somewhere on the annotations. Definitely go check that one out if you actually are fans of Turtles Forever and you want to know how exactly they didn't do something that they could have done to actually referenced it. Anyways, thank you for watching and have a good day.